Today we are revealing <gasps> Pillow Princess. Oh. Okay, some of us are just made to lay down and look good, okay. Hi, it's Trixie and today we are revealing Pillow Princess. So today we are uh, showing you Pillow Princess, which is a very cool new collection. I don't know, something about the word Pillow Princess, it's like glamorous, but kind of f***y, but kind of lazy, but kind of sexual, but kind of like, I don't know, the phrase Pillow Princess, I just love it. And what we have here is very concise and very cool. So I'm gonna start with probably what I would think is the focus of the collection, which is a brand new type of product for us in a brand new packaging with brand new everything. So before I show you the first thing, please subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much. So we have a brand new product we've never done before. These are called Stay the Night Shimmer Toppers. So I'm gonna hold them up to the camera so you can see them. Now, before we talk formula, I have to talk packaging because I care about packaging. And I've wanted to do something like this for so long. So this shade is called Love Potion. I'm just gonna hold it up so you guys can see it. It's a clear plastic little box. There's no way, we normally do like a matte paper with like UV and it prints on the inside. But for this, because the product is this lightweight, translucent kind of experience, I wanted the box to feel like a lightweight, translucent experience. It's like I've thought of everything. Okay, I didn't think of everything. Our team thought of everything. So this shade is called Love Potion. It is a robust, but very gentle, lacy, cosmic purple. My God, is it beautiful. I put it on today and it has almost like a blue green shift to it. So the base is this purple pearlized kind of pigment and it shifts a blue green. You can see it on my lid. Now you guys know I use the word lid generously. It's my forehead. We all know that, okay? But I'm gonna take it out of the package and swatch it for you because it really packs a punch. I mean, I'm using this in drag on top of a million other products, but who I think this really is going to take to the moon is those of you who just want to throw on one little product on your eye and run out to the club. You guys make fun of me in the comments because I always talk about clean lashes, clean, clean skin, clean brows, but like this type of product that feels a little neo-futuristic, it feels a little Y2K, there's translucency to it. There's just something very sexy and effortless and fashion forward about a product that is as much texture as it is pigment. The shimmer topper is intended to be like a final step in an eye look or a cheek look or whatever you wanna do. However, you could use this as a base for products. I mean, you could lay this down in a sheer wash and then like press glitter into it. Or you could do what I did today and just layer it up. This formula specifically is very fast drying. So when you're doing a proper swatch, see that? There's pigment to it. But when the light hits it, it really is crossing over with John Edwards. It is opening the door to the spiritual realm. Do you see that? And you guys, the liquid shadow, it is such a long wear formula. That's why we called it Stay the Night, which was a theme song for Trixie Motel. My God, I wrote it. Sia told me she liked the song. So yeah, Sia was watching Trixie Motel and she was like, who wrote the song? And I was like, I did. Well, she then said, maybe next time if you, I would love to help. So maybe that's actually not, maybe she didn't love it. Now that I'm thinking it through, I'm gonna tell myself she loved it. She basically wants me to write the next chandelier for her and I will. You guys can see this is a quick drying formula. So even like it's tacking up a little bit, it paints on really smoothly, but then it sets very quickly. Like today when I was doing my eyelid, I did foundation first to draw out my lid cause I had to cut my crease. And then I just took the end of this wand and I literally drew it on both sides, waited 20 seconds and did it again. That is all I did. I just sometimes in drag cannot be bothered to do like glitters and stuff because I'm in a hurry, but something like this, so quick. Look how beautiful that is. And for those of you who are purple, maybe it's a little scary. This is so cool. I think this is what the receptionist wears at Vanity Fair. That's what I think. It's also lip safe, this shade specifically, which you could tap a little bit into your lip, but this is Love Potion. This is my personal favorite. I think purple eyeshadow is like the gateway drug to wearing color. So if you are a neutral person, my God, you could just tap this on your like tear duct or a little bit on your lid. Or honestly, you could sheer it out and wear this almost as a highlighter. I'm so fair right now because I stopped fake tanning, but on most people, this could be worn like on a clavicle, on a shoulder, but it's a super long wearing formula. That's why we called it stay the night. I mean, when it sets, you guys, it feels like nothing. I can't even feel it on my skin. Moving right along, that was Love Potion. So the next shade is called Spoiled. And this one, I honestly think is a close cousin to our Girl Talk palette, because this is really some like ethereal fairy pop of color. It is so beautiful. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm not sorry. Isn't that f***ing pretty? So this shade, I mean, this is a true bubbly carbonated seafoam unicorn fantasy. My God, it is like, 
not even from this planet. Look at this. Okay, I understand that when I swatch shadows, I am the sponge lady. Oh my gosh. I know that. I'm like, oh, this one is a really a frosting color. Look at that, it's really minty. I mean, this looks the way like wintergreen gum tastes. And again, this is like the other formula where it's layerable, but honestly, with these type of colors, and don't quote me on this, I do think less is more. Like I do think a sheer wash and just letting the shift be the color. Like depending on how the light hits you, it's like, oh, you have a little shadow on, and then you turn and the light, like it flashes green. That is so cool. Oh! But then again, you could throw this on your lid and then pass by with a pressed glitter and like pop it right onto the ball of your eye and it could get really space aged really quickly. Isn't that beautiful? You could also do it on top of a bunch of matte shadows if you just want to take maybe a wash of green shadow and make it have some dimension. I mean, these are so easy. Of course, the makeup nerds are going to love this, but those of you who are just maybe, let's say, makeup technique challenged, and I know you're out there because our comments are always like, I don't even know how to use makeup, but I watch this channel. This really is for those of you who have at least one clean finger. You know, I mean, pride is coming. At least one clean finger to just like tap, 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 tap on. By the way, little makeup tip, you should always apply product with your ring finger because it has the least amount of pressure. All right, so there's a third shade to this collection and this is, I mean, this one is, it really is a Trixie Cosmetics color. You guys know we could not do a pink. So this is a color is called Sleeping Cutie. Get it? Sleeping Beauty? It's not about me. My God, this is so beautiful. This looks like you shoved LSD in a 1980s cassette player and like waves of color started coming out. It doesn't get more, more dimension than this. Look at it. It's pink, it's beige, it's bronze, it's green, and it's a little bit purple. I mean, that is so cool. I know I say this all the time, but I really think pink is a neutral. And I really think this color is a good example of that. Oh! <laughs> Look at that. So, I mean, the, the formula is a little bit pink in the base, but it does pick up like beige. Do you see that? It's almost reads champagne that's been dosed with psychedelics. I mean, it's really cool. And part of the fun of these being able to stack on top of each other is that you could mix and match shades too. So this is a pearlized pigment, which you guys, if you don't know, when you think of eyeshadow, you think of like frosty eyeshadow, sort of a metallic look. Pearlized pigments are spherical, so they tend to minimize texture in the skin and they tend to refract light in a way that's just a little more beautifying because it makes the surface of your skin look a little more more rounded and glazed. So think of the difference between a metallic eyeshadow and a pearlized eyeshadow. One tends to be more like, almost like a mineral product look where it looks like rose quartzy. Like it buffs out texture in the skin. So the secret here is there is tiny micronized glitter in a shimmer base. And that's what's gonna make it look so complete. Cause there is something about like, when you're trying to do shimmer, if you introduce more than just one shape and size of shimmer, it has more dimension. It's like when you do shimmer shadow, then then maybe a fine glitter, then a chunky glitter, it's always gonna look better. Especially if you finish it with like a rhinestone, then you have like every dimension. Isn't that beautiful? So Spoiled is not lip safe because it's like a blue green pigment, but this one, Sleeping Cutie is, and I'm just gonna tap a little bit on my lips so you guys can see the fantasy. The fantasy, the fantasy. The fantasy! Oh. It's like a green shift, do you guys see it? It has like a purple green kick to it now. <gasps> and of course we're doing a bundle. Our bundles, by the way, I'm just warning you, the bundles are always the first to go. The Laganja Extravaganja bundle sold out in, I don't know, nine seconds, literally. Up next, we have one of our all-time best products here coming back in a new color. So you guys have seen our compact that is pink, but I'm telling you, I think this one is better than the pink one. And it's not a competition, but I've had this one in my makeup bag for like, months and I've been hiding it from any photos because I don't want to like reveal it to you guys. Look at the lilac one, people. So this is the same mold, the same level of detail and quality as our last one, as the black one, as the pink one. But this one has a really soft, like champagne pop glitter finish to it. Do you see it? It's a big difference. We use mirrors every day as makeup beauty people. You feel so fancy. The top is normal mag. The bottom is double mag. Notification. You guys know. And it's just, I mean, I'm sorry. I don't want to be a traitor to my kind because I love pink. I think that this lilac glitter one is just beyond. It gives little as pet shop a little bit. It gives a lot of things that are very important to me. And it's just so pretty. Little tea heart. And I believe our pink one was pink and gold. This one is like a really cool princessy lilac with a silver. Isn't that just to die for? Love her. Love her. And of course, our little compact comes in a little bag. <laughs> little bag. And you know, you could do a lot of things with this. I don't wanna say, let's say if you live in California, 
you could put something in here. Your prescriptions. Put your prescriptions in there. Put your prep in here. Condams, dental dams. Hello. Finally, we have a product that we've never done before at our company, and you've been looking at it the whole video. Oh, ho, ho, ho. nails, can you believe her? Look at it, look at it, look at that. Look at her. Now, in elementary school, they told me, like, let me see your nails. And if you go like this, you're supposed to be straight, but if you go like this, you're gay. I can't not show you the nails like this. I mean, aren't they beautiful? This style is called Stargaze, G-A-Y-S because of the ladies and the boys who are gay. The packaging is beyond. I mean, I know it doesn't matter, but I buy nails partially because of the way it's being shown to me. This packaging would stop me in my tracks at like a grocery store or something. Do people buy fake nails at the grocery store? I don't know. This would stop me in my tracks at like a pharmacy. I just think it is so beautiful. It comes with 24 press on nails. I have giant man hands. I mean, I have been known to have to buy a pack of toenails to do my thumbs. And there are sizes in here for me. So no matter what size you could, if you have big hands, you could do yours and then put some on your bearded dragon or something like there's extra. It comes with 24 adhesive strips. If you guys don't know, I am so sensitive to nail glue. I use stickers every single day, stickers always work for me and I'm gonna tell you how. You take the file that it comes with, you file the surface of the nail, the nail plate as we call it in beauty school. Your nail plate is very porous and actually quite oily. So I like to nail file the top just to get it a little textured. Then I take a little bit of rubbing alcohol or acetone on a cotton round, wipe it off. I put that sticker on there, these never fall off. When I used to glue my nails on, I would be chasing them and gluing them on all day. These never ever fall off. But at the end of the day, when they come off, I don't have glue residue. Like I am the spokeswoman of nail stickers because I think people just don't know how to use them. I run into drag queens all the time who are like, they never stay for me. I'm like, then you don't know how to put them on. This also comes with a mini nail file, which is very useful as well as a cuticle pusher. Something like a little orange wood stick or a cuticle pusher, wrap it in a four by four or a tissue. It's great when you've softened up your nail plate and you just want to push back that natural little flap of skin. It's just going to give you a better finish. These nails, this style specifically, it's a soft pink that has a very soft pearlescence to it. A little bit like this. And I mean, we're doing a pillow princess collection. A true pillow princess has all the time in the world for a manicure. And with this collection, you can literally do your own in bed. These are a very neutral, beautifying almond shape. The almond shapes tend to make your fingers look longer. They're very classic, but you could really file these in any shape. Like I also love square. I really could just make these square, but look how nice these make them look good. I love these, they're so beautiful. And like I said, this pearlescent finish with a matte little cartoon of clouds and little moons. It is the ultimate pillow princess stay the night experience. If you are the cuntiest little bitch at a sleepover in 1998, these are your nails. They are just beautiful. These are so, so pretty. I cannot recommend them enough. I'm so proud of them and I'm gonna wear them every day for the rest of my life. And that's it. Or is it? We could not do a Pillow Princess collection without doing something a little bit on the nose. We have our very first and maybe our last, but I hope not. Pillow? Okay, this is a Trixie Cosmetics lip gloss pillow. Now I see this working out for a lot of you, okay? All of you bitches who have office jobs, mama, lumbar support. Lumbar support. It's a giant lip gloss. I don't know what to tell you other than it's a giant lip gloss. I like it because people see me with it and they go, wow, she must be really petite because look at that normal size lip gloss. We tried to get the shape exactly correct. I mean, look how cool that is. I don't, I mean, I don't see other brands doing, that is so cool. The Pillow Princess collection. I mean, the only thing you're missing is a tiara and a bad attitude. We've set you up for success. Isn't this pillow just, <sighs> maybe we should stop making makeup and just make bedding. So the bottom says, Pillow, Pillow Princess, distributed by Trixie Cosmetics. Isn't that so pretty? But how cute. On your little bed, when you take a girl home to your little bedroom and you're like, I've never done this before. Like this on your bed, it's on. This is so cute. So cute. It makes me wish we had one in every color. By the way, unrelated to this collection, my eyes and my cheeks today and my brows are all pieces from the Bottle Blonde palette. This is back in stock. It's so pretty. On the cheeks, I have the pinks as blushes. On the eyes, I have the purples. So beautiful. I also have on Summer of Love, like my shoulder, that's all Summer of Love highlight. Do you see that little? Uh, uh, uh. 
So just to recap, we have three Stay the Night Shimmer Toppers, a brand new product for us, and it's just so beautiful. A very welcome addition to the family. We have a brand new compact. This is very close to our original compact, but it's the Pillow Princess version. Nails, our very first nail set, a 24 nail set complete with a little cuticle pusher, a nail file, and stickers. And finally, a pillow. Am I the My Pillow guy of the drag world? Maybe I am, I don't know. I think I'm the only drag queen selling pillows. Because everybody, all of you wanna sleep with me and now you can, look at her. So the Pillow Princess collection goes live Friday at 10 a.m., perfect time for Pride. Our products are for everyone. Does this collection tell a story of perhaps a girl entering another girl's bedroom and perhaps saying, I love that bed. Would you like to try it? Yes, I'd love to sit down. Oh my God, I'm so comfortable. Are we in love? You know, like a love story does play out within this collection, but I'm really proud of it. It's beautiful and as usual. I love that we just make things that other brands would do a 10th of the weirdness we do and be like, look at us. We are over here insane and out of our minds. I mean, this is so cool. And as usual, the collection wouldn't be here without you guys wearing it. So I cannot wait to see what you do with these toppers because oh, I'm gonna be in love. I'll see you guys Friday on TrixieCosmetics.com at 10 a.m. Goodbye.